Hi, Aaron and Morgan. The games are intended to bring the world together, a chance for the host country to showcase its culture and history. But as Japan welcomes U.S. Olympians and Paralympians, it comes against a complicated backdrop for some. Asian American athletes have had a really tough year facing racism and discrimination linked to the pandemic, all while working harder than ever to represent the United States. I spoke with some Team USA athletes about how they're responding and what they want the world to know. These are some of the Asian American athletes representing Team USA in Tokyo. This is something that I've dreamed of since I was a kid. Representing the U.S. and representing the sport is very special. Tokyo and Japan is such a special place to not only play volleyball, but it's a part of our family history. It's such an honor and to do it on a world stage like in Tokyo is such a cool thing. But even as members of Team USA, they aren't immune to anti-Asian hate. In one year, more than 6,600 hate incidents were reported, ranging from verbal to physical assaults. Sakura Kokumai was training at a public park when a man harassed her. Yul Moldauer, born in South Korea and adopted by American parents, detailed a similar experience. This lady cuts me off and, you know, at the next red light, she screams out her window, go back to China. Paralympic tennis star Dana Mathewson is Chinese-American. She says she's been the subject of Asian jokes made mostly by people she knows. Friends have joked to me like, oh, did you bring COVID here? That goes to show that people don't really understand the gravity of what they're saying. Do you have conflicted feelings going into this games because of the rise in anti-Asian sentiment? No, I think that I'm so proud of the fact that I'm Chinese. If anything, it's just another opportunity for me to show people what we're capable of doing. Growing up in Hawaii, volleyball players Eric and Kavika Shoji say they've had limited experiences with racism. But earlier this year, a Serbian volleyball player made this racist eye gesture during a match. To see someone do that gesture on the biggest stage that volleyball has to offer at the moment was insane to me. It was appalling. I put a lot of things on social media about it, and hopefully some things can change. How does it make you feel when people question your identity as an American? I feel like me going into the gym seven hours a day is one of the most American things to do is to grind your heart out every single day to get an opportunity to wear USA on your chest. Sakura says that April day only motivated her to keep going. As athletes, we always tend to use whatever obstacle, make that into strength and power and just keep moving. Really incredible to speak to these athletes about their amazing highs making the U.S. team, but also about the lows of having their very identity as Asian Americans questioned by the people they're supposed to represent. We should mention Comcast NBC Universal is the parent company of NBC News, which owns the U.S. broadcasting rights to the games. And you can catch the 2021 Tokyo Olympics on July 23rd across all NBC platforms, including right here on NBC News Now. Back to you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.